Hi there, uh, my name is Vladimir. And uh, first, I would like to thank the organizers of Sight and Sound Workshop for inviting me to present our BMVC paper. Uh, okay, so here I'm here to tell you uh, about our project on sound generation given visual cues. Uh, before we start, let me play a few generated examples for you. As you could hear, the samples are quite realistic and relevant to the visual inputs. Let's see how the model works. First, we train an autoencoder model that could efficiently encode a sound spectrogram into a small resolution feature representation. This feature representation is quantized with the codebook vectors that are trained alongside. Then we can upsample the quantized representation into a reconstructed spectrogram. For this, we use a variant of VQE called VQGAN. Once the autoencoder and the codebook vectors are trained, we train a transformer model to sample relevant codebook codes conditioned on the visual features. During test time, we take the, se the sequence of sampled codes and reuse the decoder from the autoencoder to reconstruct a novel spectrum. And um, this spectrogram can be vocoded into a waveform using an inverse short-term Fourier transform or a GAN-based vocoder such as MailGAN, which we use in our paper. Another novelty is in the way how we evaluate visually guided sound generation models. If for fidelity evaluation we use Frechette inception distance, for a measure of how relevant is the sample, we need some more insights. Specifically, we are going to compare distributions for the ground truth and the generated sound. These distributions are formed by the softmax classifier pre-trained from scratch on um, a VGG sound dataset beforehand. The, uh, the distance between two distributions uh, is measured by uh, KL divergence. Here we are going to compare uh, our results to the state-of-the-art model. Well, this is just one example, and uh, for more, please check out our BMVC paper and the project page. In addition, we can compare the models quantitatively. Our model outperforms the baseline by a large margin in terms of fidelity and generation speed. Notice that our model is trained on all classes at the same time and has fewer parameters in total while being on par in terms of relevance. If you found our approach interesting, feel free to check out our inter interactive uh, project page, BBC paper and presentation. The paper has an extensive supplementary material with implementation details, uh, some limitation of our work, and some more uh, results, of course. We also have a Google Collab no notebook, which will help you to start sampling for a custom video. We invite you to try it uh, because it's uh, very simple. Uh, we also have a neural audio codec demo uh, where we show how a three second audio can be lossy compressed into just 80 10 bit uh, integers. If you would like to build on top of our work, check out our code that has training scripts and various pre trained models. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, Enjoy this workshop and I hope you will have a great day.